Computer Science A, Unit 2, Strings. I'm going to explain the free response question practice that you will be doing in Unit 2. Now note that this isn't exactly like an AP Computer Science free response question on the AP exam because you're not quite to the point of having to write an entire method all on your own, but the code you write will be given, you'll be given some outlines. So without further ado, you were given a certain amount of time to answer three questions. Um, probably about 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so. Note, I know that seems short, but understand on the free response tests, you're going to have four free response questions, and each question will probably have at least two, if not three, parts for you to answer. And you will have an hour and 40 minutes. So about mm, a half hour or so for each one is a good, good number to go towards. For this one, the very first question you were given was to give it, given a string, reverse all the characters in the string, print out the reversed string. So an example was Patagonia. Now, string, and again, you're not writing a whole method, you're just writing the code to do this particular task. The first thing you wanna do is declare a string. This string later on will either be passed to you or, you or a user will input it. Right now, you're just gonna hard code in whatever your string is. So declare and initialize the original string. Then you need to declare and initialize an empty string. I'm just going to use my pen as a pointer. So here, declare and initialize an empty string. And notice we call it rev or reverse because it's going to hold the reverse of our original string. Do you have to use str and rev? No, you can name them anything you want, but make it something that makes sense. Now, for int i is set to string dot length minus one. We want to start at the end of the string or with the very last character. Remember that since we start, we start a string index at zero, the length of the string is one more than the index of the last one. So that's why it's string dot length minus one. Then as long as we still have a character to check, okay, or to, to get to reverse, so i is greater than or equal to zero because zero is the last one. As soon as we get to negative one, we can't access that in a string. And then we're gonna go backwards through the string. So instead of i plus plus, we're gonna go i minus minus. We wanna go from the end of the string to the beginning. So here's string dot length minus one. This is in location zero. Now what we're gonna do with each one of these, is we're gonna declare within our loop a string called letter. Because technically with AP Computer Science A, the character is not used. If you wanted to use a character, you could, but let's just stay with the subset. So string letter. We're gonna do string dot substring. We want the letter at location I up to, but not including the letter at location I plus one. This is how we get a single character into our string. So string dot substring i to i plus one. This name right here should be whatever you declared here. Get character. Then reverse, you're going to concatenate. Remember, adding with strings concatenates that letter with reverse. You could also have written reverse or rev is set to rev plus letter. Either one is fine. Um, just in case you want to know what that would look like, let's do rev is set to rev plus letter. Okay, oops. That is your optional. Okay, so here, use this one here, you could use it like this. Either one concatenates that letter at the end of whatever you already have in rev. Rev starts out as an empty string, so it will simply wind up in reverse. Then it did say print out. So here you need your system dot out dot print line string plus in reverse is plus rev. If all you did was system dot out dot print line rev, mm, that's okay, but you should probably say something about 
the reverse string is. You want always with your output to explain what your output is. Okay, so is it wrong if you just outputted rev? No, but let's keep it, let's practice good programming. Okay, next up, given a string, str, count the number of vowels, a, e, i, o, u, we are not including y. Okay, so a, e, i, o, u in the string and print out that value. Now here's a hint. You can use string dot to lowercase to force all characters to be lowercase. Huh, if they give you a hint, use the hint. Now, as an example, we have candlestick. It has three vowels, so this should print out three. So let's just set string to candlestick. Remember, declare and initialize your original string. Whatever you use as a counter, I selected vowels. You could have num vowels. Whatever it is, if you want to use the word counter, but you really want counter of vowels or vowels counter, something that tells you what the counter is for. So you want to make sure that you initialize it to zero. Just in case somebody gives you a string and there are no vowels in it, when you output the vowels, you don't want it to be uninitialized. So initialize vowels to zero. Then here we're going to go from the beginning of the string to the end of the string. Notice the less than string.length. You could also have less than or equal to string.length minus one. That is equally as acceptable. Okay, your choice. And then I plus plus because we are going to loop through the string one letter at a time. Now here's where we use the hint. When we create our string, okay, we're going to create the string string dot substring i to i plus one we talked about that last problem or the previous problem and then dot to lower case you could down here if you want to do it in two steps create your string letter string dot substring i i plus one and then letter is set to letter dot to lower case this is doing it in two lines of code this is all in one line of code either way works but again use that hint because if you don't use the hint, then you not only have, then this if statement becomes even longer than it is because you would have to check for capital A, capital E, capital I, capital O, capital U, if you did not convert everything to lowercase, okay? So you wanna pull off the letter, check to see if it's an A or an E or an I or an O or a U. Remember, your letter is a string, so you've got double quotes. If you did something with characters, if you decide to go and investigate and use characters, then make sure that you've got single quotes. But again, characters are not part of the AP CompSite A subclass. Um, if it is an A, E, I, O, or U, vowels plus plus, you want to increment your counter. You could also make this vowels is set to vowels plus Oops. one okay the vowels plus plus is a shorthand it's a cleaner way of doing it but again you would not be marked wrong if you did this here's your closing curly brace for your if statement and here's your closing curly brace for your loop at the end there are vowels in there are there are this is the number of vowels this is the word vowels in, and here's your string. And again, you're outputting your count. If all you did was do system.out.println vowels, that would do it. You would, you would have outputted the count. You didn't say what it was, so it's not good programming practice. However, on the AP exam, if you're pressed for time, certainly at least, boom, output what they tell you to output. Okay? But it is better if you dress it up some. Okay? Good programming practice. Finally, the third one, complete the code below transforming the text according to the following three rules. All uppercase and lowercase s's, s characters will be replaced with a z. Then all punctuation marks and words less than three characters will be removed. All instances of the word mice will be replaced with deer. Well, first off, let's go through and take care of the s's because s is not in mice, so that's not gonna complicate anything. Here, they've given you this code. 
Here's your string, three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut off their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice? Nursery rhymes, fairly violent. But one other thing I want you to notice is each one of the punctuation marks, okay? The punctuation marks all have a space, okay? Well, actually, not the commas, but the question mark and the periods, all right? So, um, actually, the um, commas could be considered punctuation marks. We're going to say get rid of all the punctuation marks that are periods, question marks. <clears throat> now, it starts out with int index is set to text dot index of s. So that's going to find the first s and return the index. So while the index is greater than or equal to zero, we're going to change the lowercase s. So text is set to text dot substring zero up to the index. Okay, so it's going to go up to but doesn't include that letter. Then it's going to replace that s with a z, and then it's going to concatenate from index plus one to the end of the string. And then index is set to text.index of s. Again, you're going to get the index of the next s, and you're going to keep looping as long as index is greater than or equal to zero. Because if this fails, if there are no s's, remember the index will be returned as a negative value. You don't care what negative value. Now, down here, this set of code, remember you're not supposed to change everything to lowercase in this case or in this particular instance because you want to have the same information. So here you got to check for all of your capital S's and change them to a capital Z. So it's the same thing repeated just with capital S and capital Z. Now, because I couldn't fit it all in the same line, we're going to go on and we're going to look at this one. All punctuation marks and words less than three characters will be removed. Punctuation marks should in this case say periods and, and question marks, not commas. We're excluding commas. Okay, so after the other code, you would do string new text. You want to declare and initialize an empty string. Then you want to declare an index for start of a word, initializing it to zero, and then the end is at the space. So three, when you hit the space, three is a word. Now what are you going to do? You're going to loop through the string one word at a time. So you're going to pull off the string, it starts, and it goes to the end. Remember, the end is a space. So then you're going to do if word.length is greater than or equal to 3. If it's greater than or equal to 3, you're going to check to see if it's the word mice. And if it is, you're going to change it to deer. If it's not mice and it's greater than or equal to 3, you leave it alone. And the new text just gets concatenated with that word or the new word deer, and then the space, okay? Um, note, if word is less than three, it is not placed into the new string, so you have effectively removed any words less than three characters, okay? Text is set to text.substring end plus one, and is set to text of index, and notice it's going to find the next space, and that's going to end that loop. Now, if the text, okay, is greater than three, this is checking that last word, okay, um, concatenate to the new string, result. okay? Now, um, Let's see here. All punctuation marks and words less. Okay, so it doesn't remove the spaces. Sorry. For some reason, I thought it was removing spaces. The other thing is um, if this is greater than or equal to three, check the last word, concatenate to new string. The one thing in here that I just realized is um, we're going to need to add in. Oh, do I have my pen here? We're going to need to add this um, 
right here. Because if this last word were mice, it doesn't happen to be, okay, or actually it is, the last one happens to be a, a question mark, so it's not going to add anything. But if it were the word mice, then you want to concatenate it, okay? Questions there? And then you can output the new text. Okay, those are your oops, free response questions, coding them. Don't panic if you didn't get it right. You're going to get better as you do this. Now, if you, I know it went fast, I know there's a lot, you want to make sure you can correct it and even try it again. Because trust me, doing things backwards, big thing that happens all the time. Counting letters, big thing that happens all the time. Removing things, question is asked to do that all the time. If you would like a hard copy of this, check with me, okay? Um, I believe it's even in the free response and the strings in lesson six, I believe it is. There's even a hard copy of the result or of the um, correct response, okay? All right, that's it.